What's going on, y'all? We back with another video. Today, I'm gonna be taking you on a quick little grocery haul on what you can kind of get when you're on a carnivore or animal-based diet and um, or low carb, whatever you want to call it. This one's gonna be more so for the carnivores or someone who's looking to go carnivore for a couple weeks, try it out, um, and, and pretty much see what you can get with a basic grocery store. And a lot of people think, see, the problem is, a lot of people think with carnivore, it's gonna be way expensive and crazy amounts of money. But I'm about to show you guys right now, it is not that expensive. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to kind of shop for it could be, be budget friendly for you. You gotta think about it. All you're really shopping for is meat, you know? You don't need the extra bullshit, all the carbs and all the processed foods and all the sugars and shit in your diet. Um, so think about it. You're gonna offset that cost with just protein so don't be scared of it i'm about to show you guys right now it's not that bad i'm not gonna get too much from bonds because usually well, like my more expensive meats i usually shop at a butcher for that so i'm gonna show you guys what i get we're walking in there now Of course, my boy ain't here, got some beer. What you gonna do with that, big dog? You know what you gotta do with this one. That's what you having for dinner? Yep. <laughs> That's crazy shit. This dude right here literally can drink beer every day. Not too much though, it's just like a balance thing. No more big chicken, brother? No more habanero? No, gone. gone, okay. So the chicken we usually kind of get is that mango habanero. Uh huh. Okay, okay, thank you. So if you guys ever come to Vons, you've got to get the habanero chicken. How good is that chicken, bro? Fire. That shit's fire. Oh, like, like, like the flavor is crazy. The what's yeah, next? The what, the shrimp? Yeah. So I guess apparently if you drink beer, this is a good snack. Let me see it. What is it? It's a shrimp cocktail. You like the cocktail sauce? Dog, you got shrimp, shrimp leaking on my hand, big dog. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> fucking shrimp water this is an option for you if you want a quick snack on a carnivore based diet just eat the shrimp put some lemon on it and um it's probably about five bucks grab you a little something like this a little quick on the go <laughs> you might be in luck big dog we found a mango habanero right here so this is probably what about eight pieces right here you got to warm it up though but usually i like to just get it over there while it's hot so literally any of these options right here would be a good option for you guys to pick it up real quick, warm it up, get some protein in, okay? This is not what I wanted to show you guys, but it's just an option. You know, you got barbecue chicken, you need one? beef brisket. No, I'm good, I'm good right now. You got chicken, you got turkey, and packed chicken right there, rotisserie chicken. Any of this stuff could be an option. Anything from here. It's all protein. Look, I'll grab the most random shit. One gram of carb. Seven grams of protein. Salami. Any of this. I can grab any of it. Look. Boom. Two grams of carbs. Twelve grams of protein. Bang. Sixty calories per serving. Per serving. I don't know what the serving size is, but you get the point. So anything kind of in this aisle can be considered on carnivore, no carb. The roast beef right here, one gram of carb, 15 grams of protein for the whole container. For this whole container, 230 calories, 44 grams of protein, one gram of carb. Do you see that? Literally, bro, you can eat this before you work out, after you work out, whenever you want, snack. All of these options right here. So if you a prosciutto guy, you like prosciutto, go ahead and get you some of that. Boom, one gram of carb, get you a little bit of cheese, some extra fat in there, 15 grams of protein. Bang, you got rotisserie chicken right here. All zero carbs, good, good amounts of protein. Let's go to the meat section. So right now we in the meat section, we are gonna start from the left and work our way all the way down, okay? So, something I would consider if I'm on a carnivore diet for you guys, you can go 
I've had some of these before. I like like the hot sausages, which you guys see in some of my videos. Any of these, like I said, I kind of like these right here. These are all good. I've had pretty much all these. Literally, I'm gonna grab any of this. This one has a little bit more carbs. Five grams of carbs, 12 grams of protein. That's still not bad though. Okay, any of this stuff, boom. Chicken sausage, two grams of carbs, 12 grams of protein, okay? Bang. You can grab any of this. I stay away from hot dogs like that, but you get a pork, pork link. Seven grams of protein, three grams of carbs, all day long. Turkey meat. Bang, two grams of carbs, nine grams of protein. I'm telling you guys, live here, here. Okay, now, literally anything in here. You got beef patties, 91.9. You got 80% 20. Zero grams of carbs, 19 grams of protein. Okay, bang. 23 grams of protein, zero carbs. Bang, 15.99, probably get about what? What is this, 10 patties? 10 patties. Okay, bang, bang. Zero grams of carbs, 17 grams of protein. Bang, bang, okay? Now, same thing with all the fish. All the fish I love, go ahead. Zero grams of carbs, 29 grams of protein. Bang, obviously the fish and stuff is gonna be a little bit more expensive, I know, but you get a great quality amounts of protein and omega-3s and stuff in some of this fish, especially salmon, okay? Bacon, don't be afraid of bacon. This is some of people's favorite shit right here. I'll fuck bacon up, okay? Zero grams of carbs, eight grams of protein. That's every two slices. You can find bacon from anywhere from three bucks to about 15 bucks. You know what I mean? It's all gonna be fairly around the same shit. Obviously, there's a little bit more higher quality and stuff like that, okay? Now, let me take you over here. The chicken, you already know, zero grams of carbs, heck of protein. Like I said, you can find value packs, you can find great prices on some of this stuff right here, okay? Like I said, I kind of shop at a butcher, and that's kind of where I get a lot of my higher end cuts of meat, and that's where I get my ground beef. So what I do for my ground beef is I get it, I get steaks, and I get it grounded twice at the butcher, and that's how I do the ground beef, okay? You can do that, and I'll show you guys when I go to the butcher, it's just 11 o'clock at night and I don't have time for that. I just got out of the gym, okay? Now, this is where you're gonna get most of your nutrition from right here, okay? I'm gonna take you to the red meat section, all right? This is where you're gonna get your steaks, your ground beefs. And this is for my hardcore, if you just wanna do carnivore, just eat red meat. Stick to red fucking meat and that's it, okay? Bang, right here, value pack. Petite sirloins, right? $11.95 for members. I'm definitely gonna grab me some of these um, for sure, okay? Boom, some more petites right there. Bang, you can see it, $11.95. You can literally stack up on, grab a couple of those. It's gonna be under 50 bucks, get you like five packs. Bang, same thing right here. We got the chucks. Boom, grab you some of that. 11.75, you get about two and a half pounds. You know what I'm saying? Same right here. Two pounds, 10 bucks. I'm definitely gonna grab a lot of those, but I'm just gonna continue to show you guys some stuff, all right? There's more steaks right here. All this stuff right here, value packs. You can grab a couple of these. Bang, bang, bang. A pound right here, eight bucks. Boom, get you some big boys. These might have bone in, actually boneless. That's actually not a bad price. Ribeye steaks, almost two pounds, 23 bucks. That's not bad at all, okay? Oh my goodness. Beef top sirloin steak pack. I'm definitely gonna grab, these are some big boys. 11 bucks? Oh yeah, these coming home with me for sure. You see how chunky these things are? Bro, these are coming home with me for sure. Sirloin steaks, 4.99 a pound. 
this is where it's at. You come and whatever has the deal, you could go buy this. You just grab you a couple of these steaks. These are big boys. These are big boys. For $11, this is definitely coming in my cart before someone takes it. But make sure you check. See how that hole's right there? Not fucking with that. Okay? Bang, right here, get you some lamb. Usually there's some ground beef. I don't really see the ground beef section. Maybe it's over here on this aisle. Okay, maybe it's over here. Boom, manager special, 85, 85, 15. Grab you about 10 of these. 10 times five, you do the math, okay? Bang, right here. You got ground beef on sale, 80, 20, 399, okay? So there's no excuses, you can grab some of that. Like I said, with those steaks and you get some of this ground beef right here, look at this, 10 bucks for two and a half pounds of ground beef. Bang, bang. That will give you about almost three meals right there. Three, four meals of quality protein. Get you some good protein in for a good price, okay? Now, let me show you what else you can get. You got the sausages right here, but let me go ahead and grab these steaks right here real quick. Okay, so we got the value packs. Two bang, some good good steaks, good steaks. We're definitely gonna grab some of these. Good steaks. Okay, and another thing, people, you're gonna be like, oh, it's dry. A lot of this stuff is dye. You know what I mean? So be careful with that. Another option right here. Check for some of these. You got peeled shrimp right here. Extra large cooked shrimp. Five bucks, member pays five bucks. That's, that looks good. That looks good. Okay. You can grab a couple of these. They're all around five, six bucks, depending on how much is in there. Not bad at all. Get you some of those. Okay. You got steaks, as you can see. You can fuck around in here if you want. Get you some tilapia, some leaner meats, or leaner fish. And get you some salmon. I think for salmon, you should fuck with, um, what is it, wild caught? No. What's that good salmon? What's the differences with the salmon? There it is right there. You need to get you some sockeye salmon. It's gonna be more expensive, but it's that real deal. Get you some of that sockeye salmon. That's that real deal, holy field. Look at these right here. $7.99, get you some salmon, okay? If you're not trying to get the, the sockeye, go ahead and get you some of these joints, ready to go. Go ahead, put them on the pan, sizzle them bitches up, okay? Oh, this is a big one right here, the butter. This is a big one. Now, I'm gonna show you some options I use for the butter. Boom, we use a European style. I've used this before. Before, I would use like anything. But let me show you some differences right here, okay? Look at the ingredients on here. We'll see if there's only about three ingredients. This is what I'm looking for. Same thing here, the European style. Ingredients, see that? About three ingredients right there. See that? Bang, even this one right here. Ingredients. See, it's only about three ingredients right there. You see that? Bang. Same thing right here. Only about three ingredients. Okay. You grab you. There's some more, but you grab you some shit like this. Some of that country crock, which you know this is the butter. A lot of people use. Look how much more ingredients there are in it. Okay. What you know about that? I'm giving you a life lesson right now. Life lesson, who put you on carnivore? How do you feel? Exactly, exactly. Look at this, plant plant butter, plant butter, <laughs> plant butter. Let's, let's check the ingredients right here, okay? Ingredients on the plant butter. See all that? Way more than three ingredients. Terrible. Smart balance. Same shit. Look how many great ingredients are in it. Way more than three. Wild. All bad. Now, meats. 
and then you can go over here and get you some eggs, right? For the eggs, I shop at Trader Joe's for a lot of my products, but you can go and get you any eggs you want, right? You can get eggs for about $3, right there. Go ahead, bang. Last thing you're gonna need, I'm gonna take you to the cheese section and then you got the milk. The milk, see, I was a fan of almond milk until I found out it has so much carbs in it. Get you some regular milk, anywhere from three to five bucks, six bucks, whatever the case is, right? Now from, for your fats, you can get you a little bit of cheese and it's a done deal. Stay away from the sugary drinks. Let me show you something. Let me grab, grab some real quick. Let me show you something. Look how many carbs are in this one fucking serving. You got 30 grams of carbs and 27 grams of sugar, bro. Stay away from this shit, bro. It's fucking terrible for you. Terrible. Oh, and then y'all gonna be, oh, let me get the tea. Let me get the tea because it's healthier. Check this shit out. 25 grams of carbs, 25 grams of sugars. Stay the fuck away from that shit, bro. Trust me. Trust and believe when I tell you, bro. Stay away from that shit. You know what I'm saying? Now, I know some of you guys are going to want some yogurt and shit. Man, grab you the one that has 15 grams of protein. Very low carbs. Okay. Now, that's kind of all we need as far as meat goes. You can shop in the frozen section and stuff like that. Like I said, this is going to be a nice and short one. I don't need too many things. It's kind of what I'm working with. Hey, y'all. So, it's a nice quick video for you guys. Pretty much to show you guys what I got. I got some good steaks right here. Great value on it. I got another value pack. Tri tips. Tri tip steaks. Some good steaks right here. 13 bucks. Almost two pounds. We got some great steaks right here for a good price. Okay. Almost two pounds on both. Both about seven dollars. And then right here, same thing. Almost, you know, a pound and a half right here. Eight bucks. I got another one right there. So as you can see, I'm about to spend probably about 60 bucks for good quality meat and that's gonna last me about a week week and a half of some good meats some good protein man and uh that's kind of what i what i need that's all i need as far as my milk my eggs and stuff i can get that at uh trader joe's or at the butcher that i go to as well so let me grab some water like i said i get all my water from trader joe's i get spring water from there but today let me just grab a little gallon real quick before we go to the house. That's crazy, bro. Seven, two for seven dollars of Arrowhead gallon water is wild. So we're gonna go ahead and grab these right here. Just grab one, some good spring water, and that's kind of all I need. So I'm gonna go check out, get up out of here, and uh, yeah, man, it's kind of what we what we got. A quick little. Uh, shopping hall or whatever for anyone who's, who's looking to go carnivore or looking for what you can get at the store uh, I gave you a couple options and I know I didn't grab everything but that's kind of what I got for now until I go to Trader Joe's or the market so yeah man I'm gonna get up out of here 63 bucks it's not bad at all for all this protein 63 bucks so there you see it man 63 bucks for all that protein that's not bad at all um if you do the math that's probably gonna last me about a week if not more most likely a week i like to have my protein fresh but depending how much how busy i am this week how much protein i get in that should last me about a week but if you take the 63 dollars and you divide that by seven days <laughs> you're under what what under seven dollars eight dollars a day for probably about four meals a day five meals a day of straight protein steaks that's not bad at all bro i go to in and out get patties 10 patties and i spend 12 dollars. you know what i'm saying so that's not bad at all that would be able to last me a good good amount of time and you know as you can see i got some good steaks 63 bucks that's not bad at all you know and like i said we're gonna go out i spend five dollars on starbucks every day so that is not bad so there you have it i'm gonna cut the video here if you guys got any value, drop a like, hit that subscribe button, drop a comment down below. And if you guys want more videos like this, I'll bring them your way. We go.